In a globalized world, borders are becoming less apparent. This is as true for consumer products as it is for human individuals. As immigration levels rise and foreign populations settle in new countries, understanding how and why individuals react to this phenomenon is increasingly important in shaping policy. For this reason, I will explore the relation between attitudes towards immigration and both concern for employment and education level. The dependent variable is attitudes towards immigration. The indicator of such attitude is based on support for an increase, decrease, or no change in immigration levels. Previous research, such as that of Facini and Maida, has suggested economic status and labor market forces greatly influence attitudes towards immigration. Here, I examine if these attitudes become increasingly negative as concern for employment increases. As immigrants tend to accept lower wages, they offer a cheaper alternative to employers and therefore have a competitive advantage over native populations. Individuals that are out of work tend to perceive immigrants as potential competitors for this reason, and their attitude towards immigration is expected to be more negative than their working counterparts. The high levels of education, on the other hand, are thought to lead to more positive perceptions of immigration. Thomas J. Espenshade and Catherine Hempstead have suggested that higher education is associated with higher racial and ethnic tolerance, and therefore more positive attitudes towards immigration. In this first cross-tabulation, I examine the impact of concern for employment on attitudes towards immigration. To do so, I have grouped individuals into three categories. The first, labeled not concerned, includes individuals that are not employed but are not in the labor force, such as retirees and homemakers. The second, labeled as employed, is composed of individuals with stable employment that should not be very much affected by immigration. The third and last group, labeled unemployed, relates to individuals without employment that might feel threatened by immigration and therefore have more negative attitudes towards it. However, my hypothesis is not supported by the data. The second cross-tabulation examines the effects of education levels and attitudes towards immigrants. Here, the labels are simply based on the highest level of education each individual has completed. Unlike the previous cross-tabulation, my hypothesis was confirmed by the data, and higher levels of education seem to correspond to more positive attitudes towards immigration.